How's farming changed? Oh, it's changed dramatically in my lifetime and it'll change more in my son's and grandson's lifetime. One of the aspects on the crop side of things, I always have done the corn planting. I've been planting corn since I've been 14 years old with a two row planter and an old farm all H and open station tractor. And before I went to school, I planted corn. And when I got home, I planted corn. Now today, I'm running a 12 row no-till corn planting system in a air conditioned tractor cab. And for the first year, I broke into the automated world and went with auto steer. So once you get your outside rounds of the field done, you push a button and the tractor steers itself. And you don't even have to hold on to the steering wheel. So automation and just creature comforts have come into agriculture. Chris and I both are in the agronomy sector. Chris is an agronomist and I do some marketing for agronomy. We learn a lot of things on the job and we're able to see some really great practices and implement that directly on our farm, make good decisions and help us grow the best crops that we can grow and it also correlates into feed for our cattle. My role as an agronomist and then raising cattle really do tie in together. How we're going to feed the crop and how that might influence the cattle. You know, different nutrients in, in the plant is going to have different effects in the cow. I think we're really producing a great safe product and I think a lot of that has to do with the technology that's been brought out today. You know, variable rate fertilizing, more timely applications and more often versus applying everything all at one time. We're making more precise applications of fertilizer so we have less risk of runoff. We're using a lot less pesticides across the acre because our equipment has very little overlap. It's a very accurate application. From a producer standpoint, we're looking at better ROI and reducing you know, excess cost that way. We use a lot of technology on the fertilizing side, so we are doing a lot of variable rate fertilizer applications, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You know, on the spraying side of things, we're GPS, so we're getting accurate applications there. When you start looking into the planting stuff, there's a lot of technology that goes into that side of it to help with our seed singulation, applying fertilizer that's even and consistent. There's just a lot of ways agriculture today is making advances into everything on the machinery side, on the land side, just the education that we've been able to do in the ag community on sustainability, on cover crops, on taking care of the soil, not doing what your great grandfather did. Let's try this. The advancements we've made in agriculture have been great for the farmer, great for the community.